Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina Patia and today's tech tip is about how to split your walls vertically and horizontally. So in this case, I have a panel that, or, or well, one wall that I have going from level one all the way to the roof. I would like to split this up uh, vertically, but I would also like to split these, uh, split the panels up horizontally. So what I'm gonna do first is, um, I'm going to make sure that I've already done my load data. So once you do your load data, all the markers will get loaded into your project and you'll have access to all of them. And then I'm gonna come into the plan view here and I'm gonna select markers and I'm gonna select split by rule. Uh, this wall is 30 feet, as you can see. I'm going to just have my maximum panel length to be 10 feet um, and the minimum panel to be two feet. Uh, in our case, it's gonna perfectly split it by 10 feet. And we're going to select our split wall uh, horizontally option and we'll hit confirm. And you can see that it create, created these little markers, okay? You can only do this prior to creating your panels. So please do keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna go to our north elevation here. And uh, in our north, north elevation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my vertical split. I would like these panels uh, to be split per level so what I'm going to do quickly is go to architectural tab. Uh, for the vertical split, we need to place it manually. So I'm gonna go click on the component, uh, components, and then I'm going to look for, right now I already have it selected, but if you did need to look for it, um, you can still, uh, type in SPLIT split, and you can choose the split wall vertically option. Um, and we're just going to quickly place our marker. If you can align it perfectly, great. If not, it's fine, just place it. And then we'll align it later. So hit AL and then click on the level and click uh, on the marker and it will align that to the level. Now, uh, what I would like to do is I would like my panels to be shorter um, by three inches above this marker and three inches below this marker. So I'm creating a little bit of a gap in between my panels and I want it to be three inches. So right now my gaps are set up, but if I wanted to increase it to maybe say six inches, I have that option over here and I can easily do that, all right? So over here right now it says three inches, which is exactly what I want. I'm gonna leave that and hit okay. And now I can go ahead and try to frame my walls. So I'm gonna click the, um, create button here. I'll click on templates and I'm just going to go with the light gauge template. I'll set that as active and close and then I'll hit create. And you can see that it's creating all the panels here. So we just created six panels out of one wall using our split markers. That's it for this week's tech tip. Have a great day.